Evening, folks. It's time to get the draw going. It's a little bit after five. Wednesday night, and this is what we're doing. The winter color, okay, which is a blue boy chartreuse tail. Uh, I have the tail color. Some of y'all have ordered the winter color since I may put this video out, and some other tail colors. There are tail, tails with black, tails with orange, chartreuse. So you check them out. There's quite a few different colors there. I can't, I can't call them all that to you. I said, I got over 80 colors. I can't keep up with all of them. Uh, so there you go. They work great. This, uh, this is what I've been working on all day today. Yeah, this color is the, it's a new color by uh, Dead On. It's called Monkey Shine. Really close to Monkey Milk, isn't it? Can y'all see that blue tint to it? So yeah, it's, it's a real light color. I put the uh, Close to what I do, ice. I think it's a little brighter than ice, but down the road we'll probably we'll replace ice with this. Yeah. All right. This is the new prey bait. It's coming in eight colors. I've got a lot of stock made. I'm still working on. So I was working on those today. When I get them on, it's gonna be another probably another two weeks before I'm ready. And when I put them on, they're gonna be about. I'm not doing a bunch of eyes, guys. About 10 to 14 packs of each color with eyes. And then I'll have 14, 16 colors without eyes. And I've got extras made. i got some extras in some of the colors. I have extras laying up on a... I use these aluminum cookie sheets, guys. They're made to use and throw away if you're cooking. And I put uh, extra baits on those and put them on the shelves so I can stock them. So I, do, I am making some extras, like four to six extra packs. So... As they sell, all I got to do is uh, put a label on the clamshell and put get them on the site. So there you go. So y'all be ready. Uh, some of y'all are making comments that you want the eyes. A few people have said, I think they're better without the eyes. That's why I'm going to put them on both ways. All right. And of course, I told you the eyes cost me with shipping. The eyes cost me 10 cents a piece. So I'm putting five in a pack. Right. So that's fifty cent just in you know, in uh, in in eyes. That's that's uh, twenty. Excuse me, a dollar in eyes. I said fifty cent. I'm thinking about five baits. That's uh, twenty cent per bait. All right, just in eyes. I was thinking five. I went fifty cent, didn't I? Yeah, that's where your mind goes when you get older, guys. That's what happens when you get older. Your mind your mind goes places that uh, sometimes you don't. Uh, you're not as sharp. Uh, and they can't remember names. I was talking with somebody today. I got invited to the Mexican restaurant to eat today with with Mason. He, he uh, texted me, meet me at the Mexican restaurant. So we sit up and we, and we shooting the bull about things and went to say something about somebody. And I went, uh, I cannot think of their name. And I, it never has come to me yet. But I'll do that sometimes. And I'll get in my vehicle going home. I'll be doing something out in the garage and the name will come to me. You ever do that? Just, oh, <laughs> yeah. Phew. But anyway, and I got a lot going on too. I've been power washing this week. We've had rain off and on. Started yesterday. That's all y'all people on the East Coast are dealing with that. Uh, hopefully it's going to help the fishing. But it's not supposed to stop raining here till Saturday. So I'll have to get out Saturday to make a poor catch for next week. All right. And uh, one other thing I'll share with you. We talked about melon time last week. The winner of last week sent me his address, I think Thursday night. But anyway, I mailed out to him Friday. And when I went to eat the Mexican restaurant at lunchtime, about 1130, I went there and mailed out to him. He got his package Monday. All right? He was in South Carolina. There was somebody else here that won about a month or six weeks ago. It was from South Carolina. And it took like over three weeks to get their package. Yeah. That's what I'm telling you guys. It depends on your postal service area where you're at. Some places just bam, they they get it in a three or four days. That happens to me many a times. I've mailed them Friday, and Wednesday, or Thursday. The next week, people comment back to me, "Hey, I got my package. Thank you. I liked it." So it depends on where you live, how fast that stuff travels. There are areas that stuff seems to stop and get stuck sometimes. And sometimes that just happens. I mean. That's the way it is. I, I order from, if I order from a uh, supplier sometimes, I can get stuff in two or three days. 
I ordered these eyes from Tackle Warehouse out of California. That's where I got them. All right? I ordered them on Sunday. I think Sunday. Wednesday or Thursday that week I had them. Yeah. That's pretty fast coming out of California in three or four days. So it just depends. All right. But anyway, that's that's our, how <laughs> that's how mail, mail goes. Snail mail, some people call it. You ready? 320. You sometimes you just don't know. All right, guys. Let's go see who won here. Number is 320. Okay. Let's see. It's over. Under 320. 274. We're going to write that down. 274. And it's John. Okay. Gotcha. 85. 200. We got 274. That's, that's over. 320. It's uh, under. Under. We already, we already have 274. All right. That's over. Way under. 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 Way under. 305. All right. Gosh. 305. All right, the number is 320. We got 305. Okay. And that's Brody. All right, wow. Knocked him out. So 305, it's only 15 numbers left to win. David. 77. Uh, where's his number? Oh, he's on the end. 312. All right, he knocked out 305, 312. I like it when we have musical chairs. All right, 312. He knocked out 305, and that is Todd Smith. Okay, 312, and the number is 320. So and that leaves us, what, eight? Eight numbers? All right, Todd, 11. Mmm... 65. That's it. All right. I'll check it one more time if we get off, guys. All right. Todd won, it looks like. So, Todd, you need to send me your email address. If, if you've bought from me, I will look. But if it's not recent within six weeks, so it's hard, hard for me to find it. i got to go through a lot of pages on the computer to find you. All right. Appreciate everybody playing along. Appreciate the orders. The orders have been... Up and down. I've been have. I've had good weeks and I have slow weeks. And I know a lot of people this time of year are not just are not fishing. Okay, a lot of y'all have ordered from me, so I know you already got good stock and baits. So hey, it's a very understandable. All right, but please share with your friends. If you run across people that crappy fish, tell them uh, to check out Lake Country Baits, and y'all get ready for the prey bait to come along. I think it's going to be an excellent bait, as I said earlier. Uh, I think you'll be surprised. I'm going to make some videos with it here shortly. Our fishing, but the video you watched Wednesday. Like I said, was was um, the fishing was better that day. I think after all this rain, it's going to help it. Our water got so clear. We've had some thunderstorms, and the water got a little bit of color to it. And when I went out and made that video, because I had things I had to get done that day, but I needed the video for Wednesday pretty bad, so I went out, and um, the fishing was was much easier than it has been uh, catching fish. Um, so. The weather has so much to do with catching fish, doesn't it? And the water color changes and stuff. We're getting a lot of rain. In fact, we're supposed to get so much tomorrow that I did. they just came up. We just got a call from the school system. My wife works in the school system, so we're on their remote call. That they go, uh, The employees are, can, can work from home tomorrow. They're expecting hard rains tomorrow, guys, all day. As you know, y'all keep up the weather, I know down in South Carolina, down through Florida, they have flood, and a lot of the cities are having flooding and stuff. We haven't had that much rain here yet. We've had some hard rains and some downpours. But uh, I worked I worked uh, outside Monday all day. I power washed a house on a boathouse. And uh, I worked on a on another house in town yesterday till about 1 o'clock. And then it cut loose and rained off and almost the evening. And it's only sprinkled here today off and on a couple times. We ain't had a bunch of rain today. But they said we're going to get it tomorrow. That's going to help the fishing, guys, here. It's going to cool the water some. And it's going to put some color back in the water. So, hope hope you all get some rain without getting flooded out. Except if you're on the East Coast, South Carolina, and all, I know y'all guys are getting it. Okay, that's for sure. Some of these brighter colors are going to work great for y'all after this 
storm goes through and, and uh, stains up your water, right? So good luck to everybody out there fishing. Be careful. You know, some of these places was raining a lot, guys. Y'all know the routine. Do not run through the water for your vehicle. We had a guy here. I think I told this story. Back in the spring, there's a creek runs behind my house. And across, it's a culvert. It goes in a double culvert above my house, okay? And a beaver dam had, uh, up, upstream let go, and it came down and stopped the culverts up. And it's about four foot to the road. The water came up and was crossing the road. A guy ran through it at night in his golf cart with no lights on his golf cart, so you couldn't see how much was there. They, they have a rule here you're supposed to have lights in the golf cart. Some people just use a flashlight. It ain't enough when it's pouring down rain. He ran through it. It swept him off the road down the creek. They didn't find him until 10 to 12 days later, guys. Do not run through flooded water, okay? If it's coming across the road, it will, pick, it will take your car with it. If you've got a light car or a truck, back of a truck don't weigh nothing, right? Rear of a truck. It can take you sideways. You can get you in trouble. So be very careful if you're in some of these areas where you're getting all this rain, all right? Appreciate everybody. Hey, guys. We'll see you all next week.